Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a really nice, smooth and elegant looking slide animation in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started pretty quick. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So as always, I'm gonna start by creating a new composition, which is gonna be our main comp. So let's rename this to main. 1920 into 1080 30 frames 10 seconds looks good and hit ok and here i have some elements the image that i'll be using you can of course use an image or footage whatever that you like and a dust element that i'll be adding and actually from now on i will be providing the project file in the description below of each and every tutorial so make sure to check out the description so then i'm going to create a new composition this is going to be for our media placeholder where we can drag in you know our image or video that we have hit ok and let's add our image into the media composition just like that then i'm going to go into the main comp and drag in the media composition into the main comp let's make it 3d so now we can animate it and let's create a new camera pretty quick 35 millimeters looks good hit ok and create a new null object make it 3d and this is gonna be our camera control so let's rename this to camera control cam control there we go and then I'm gonna parent the camera to the null object just like oh my mistake just like so and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a mat for our media animation so for that I'm gonna create a new composition this is gonna be mat hit OK and then I'm gonna create a new solid by hitting control Y on the keyboard let's rename this to layer and hit OK alright and then I'm gonna animate this layer so let's set S to bring down the scale properties and unlink this let's bring this down to all the way zero create a keyframe and also bring this up to 250 go to around let's go to one second and 15 frames and let's bring this up to 100 maybe and yep that looks good to me something like that and also add some rotation so hit R to bring down the rotation properties go to or maybe I'll just at the very beginning create a keyframe hit U so you can see all the keyframes go right over here let's bring this to minus 15 degrees and then we can scale this up a bit more just like that so we have something which looks like this as you can see really cool but I'm gonna rotate this from around 45 degrees so let's see what we have pretty cool I'm gonna do actually minus 45 I think yep that's what I'm going for so let's select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes go to graph editor and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and not in the edit value graph so let's select this and drag this handle just like so a little bit so now we have a really nice motion to it as you can see pretty cool really simple to do then let's go back into our main composition drag in the matte composition on the top of the media and change the media track mat or maybe I'll just switch back to normal and let's change the media track mat to alpha mat so now we have something like this pretty cool and let's pre comp the mat and the media composition so let's call this maybe slide underscore o1 and hit ok so now we have a really nice and simple animation as you can see and then what I can do is I can turn this layer 3d and let's animate our camera by using the null that we created so hit P to bring down the position properties and let's see maybe I'll go right over at three seconds and let's bring this a bit closer or maybe I'll just set this to around let's go to zero actually create a keyframe go back in time and set this to around 300 maybe like that go right over here 
and maybe I'll just set this to around 230 I don't know okay so I want this to animate slowly and then pretty fast so let's select the oh let's select this keyframes and hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes go to graph editor let's drag this just like so now we have a really nice motion to it maybe I'll just set this to around 350 pretty cool let's see our animation okay I think I'll select this and I'm gonna make this hold control and click on it so it's gonna be a linear keyframe and also this one as well so now we have a really nice animation as you can see pretty cool and then what I can do is add a dust image there we go let's bring this on the top also I'm going to make it 3d let's select the camera control and hit U so we can see just the keyframes select the dust element and bring this close to our camera until it's it goes out of the camera just like that there we go let's select the dust element hit P to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go right over here at three seconds and bring this back just like so and also I'm gonna scale this down a bit to around let's go with 30 percent and now we should have something like that as you can see let's select the layer and hit U so we can see the keyframes select the keyframes and hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes graph editor and the same thing let's drag it just like so there we have it looks pretty cool you can also turn on the motion blur that will make it look even more natural pretty nice I'm happy with this and then I'm gonna create my text so let's type in any text that we want so I'm gonna type in the elegant slide let's make this a bit bigger align this in the center make it 3d hit use on the camera control so we can see the keyframes and animate our text according to that keyframes so I'm gonna bring this up oh, I'm gonna select the text and drag it in the Z dimension Z position out of the frame hit P to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back and um, oh control Z what I can do is actually let's turn it to normal text and pre comp it and let's call this title and then I'm gonna animate the title so let's make it a bit bigger somewhere around there let's drag it in the center just like so and now turn the title composition to 3d comp just like so and now I'm gonna do the same thing that we did for the dust layer so hit P to bring down the position properties drag this out of the frame just like so create a keyframe go to three seconds and bring it in the position that we want so somewhere around oh somewhere around maybe there also I'm gonna scale this down a bit just like so now we have something like that let's select the layer and hit U so we can see just the keyframes hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes go to graph editor and create a curve just like so there we have it looks really nice as you can see let's go into the title and add some maybe kind of a stroke box something like so let's align this in the center as well maybe increase the stroke size let's see what we have pretty cool that is just too much so maybe I'll just bring this down somewhere around there let's see yep looks good to me let's see our animation pretty quick pretty nice also turn on the motion blur for the text so we have this really nice motion blur looks cool to me 
Then what we can do is let's select the slide and hit Control D two times. So we have three copies. Let's select the first slide and other layers and let's drag them to around maybe let's say 15 frames. Also, and drag the camera control and camera layer back just like so. Okay. And then I'm going to displace them, displace the other layers by five frames just like so. All right. Let's select this layer first of all, or maybe this first one and drag this a bit back in the Z space just like that. Select this one and drag this in the Z space a bit behind just like so. So now we have something which looks like this. Pretty cool as you can see. Looks really nice. Also on the last one I'm going to add a curves adjustment to make it a bit darker. So we have a little bit of variation you know. Control C to copy it, Control V to paste it on the second one, make it a bit lighter. And there we have this really nice looking glassy elegant effect. Pretty cool. And let's pretty quickly create a vignette. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Bring it on the top. Let's rename this to V for vignette. Add a curves adjustment pretty quick. Make it a bit darker just like that. Select the ellipse tool, double click on it. And then I can just do some tweaking just like so. Hit F so we can see the mask feather and feather this up to around 500. And invert this up just like so. So we have a really nice vignette. There we go. This is looking actually pretty cool. Also, I can add some drop shadows as well. So let's select the first light and add a drop shadow effect. Let's increase the distance a bit. Softness. Pretty cool. Maybe I'll decrease the opacity to 25%. That should look good. Yep. Control C to copy it and paste it on the second one as well. So Control V to paste it up. And there we have it. Maybe increase the softness a bit and place it somewhere around there. Pretty nice. This is looking actually pretty cool. And then what I can do is let's make some room right over here. Go to around maybe three seconds. Crop this, crop the camera. Or maybe let's duplicate the camera first of all. Set this to none. Okay. And let's crop by holding Alt and close bracket. Crop the first one by holding Alt and close bracket. All right. So we have the second camera right over here. Hit P to bring down the position. Let's create a keyframe on the position. Let's go to maybe five seconds. And let's bring this a bit closer just like that. So we have two animations. One is zooming out and then the zoom in animation looks really nice and make the and this animation make it look really nice and professional look to it. So let's see our complete animation so far. We should not get this. Let's try to edit purge the memory maybe so that would fix it. I guess. No. Think that is something wrong with the screen recorder because I never got this kind of a glitches. Not glitches, I'll say. I don't know what this is. Let's really see now. Let's solo this up and let's see what, what is the issue with this. And as you can see, yep, there we have this issue. So let's go into the slide. Maybe go into the mat. Oh, the issue is in the mat. Let's go right over here and I don't know why is this happening. Three, two, maybe. Let's see. Yup, right away I'm gonna set this to maybe one. That should fix the issue. Unsolo this up, and yep, now we have 
this really nice and elegant looking slide animation. So I hope all in all you learned something new from this tutorial. So that is a wrap for today. I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and we are almost about to reach 50,000 subscribers and I'm really really excited about it. So yep, let's hit this mark pretty quick and I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then take care. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.